Hey, Dan and Nikki. Uh, it's uh, February 6th, and uh, I guess I'm going to make a couple of videos. This is uh, the first one is a, re, uh, a response to Dan to your videos, um, the last couple of videos you made. So uh, let's see, where do I start? I know you went to Puerto Vallarta. I think we're still waiting for um, all of that video uh, to see something other than that one where the boat sank. So I'm assuming you're going to show us more than that. Um, anyway, uh, anxiously looking forward to seeing PV video, as you call it. PVV, I guess it would be, right? Um, I, I enjoyed watching that video of uh, you and Scott Fairley, your neighbor, uh, across the street uh, in Pendleton, a uh, video of you guys snowshoeing. Uh, Sadie, come here! I really like, uh, I, I, and I've talked to you about this before, I really love snowshoeing. Um, it's, a, it's really easy on my knee. Uh, I can actually even run while snowshoeing and it doesn't hurt. So um, there's actually snowshoe races. I don't know if you're, you're probably not interested in, you know, that kind of thing, but um, they have snowshoe races here, uh, one every year here in Winona, but they have them all over this region, uh, which are pretty cool. But um, anyway, I think, um, I think that we should plan a snowshoeing trip. Um, the last, you know, we, when I was in college, we snowshoed, what's the pass between Ellensburg and um, what's the Bavarian village? Uh, Leavenworth. What's that pass between Ellensburg and Leavenworth? In there, that's not Blewett, is it? Maybe it's Blewett Pass. Anyway, we went to snowshoe in there and it was, it was tons of fun. It looked a lot like what you, uh, you know, the terrain that you and Scott were on, Scott Fairley, your neighbor uh, in Pendleton. Um, and, uh, um, but because it's higher up, you know, the snow is, tends to be a little more predictable up there. So uh, I would love to come out sometime and we could actually do some snowshoeing uh, and camping. Like I said, we've, we've talked about this on the phone already, but Nikki, you weren't, um, uh, you weren't able to listen to that conversation or maybe you did, I don't know. Um, I know that uh, the CIA was listening, um, but um, so uh, if I died is your video a bit morbid, but I like the idea. I've actually been thinking a lot about music, uh, and I'm actually going to talk more about music when I do the video for Nikki uh, in response to her video. So I'll, I'll hold that off until then, but and I'll talk more about the if I die is your video idea. But I like it. So I'm waiting for your video. It was your idea. Where's your if I die is your video? Um, I'm assuming that if you die this year, we are going to take you up onto the North Fork of, you know, Upper BFE Creek, and we're going to dump you uh, up there somewhere um, and let you become part of uh, the uh, circle of life. So, um, swimming 10K. Um, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm trying, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I really want to swim the Bayfield, that two-mile swim at Bayfield up in Lake Superior, all butterfly this year. And what I, like today, what I did my workout, it was a short workout, but what I did is I did 600 warm-up, and then I did 7 by 150, uh, 100 yards fly, 50 yards freestyle. Um, and then I did that seven times, took a minute break, and then did it seven more times. Um, and I tell you, at the end of that, I was... Uh, I was having a tough time breathing. I don't know if it's uh, clearly I'm not as efficient a butterfly as I am at freestyle. There are those who are more efficient than I am. So I'm going to try to figure out how to become more efficient at that because I really would like to try that. Um, I'm not going to break any speed records, but I will be the first one to ever do it. So that's something. Um, the pants, follow up on the pants video that I made of Beth working on the uh, bathtub. Uh, funny thing about that was it started leaking. Um, and this is the kind of thing that happens to me frequently, uh, which is why I didn't want to do it. Um, and it's just, you start doing those things and you get into, you just never know what you're going to find. And, and Beth, to her credit, actually discovered that the threads were different. She ended up going to, you know, um, the hardware store three or four times and got what she thought worked. Um, as it turned out, we ended up having to call a plumber. Um, and he came out and, uh, you know, was uh, pretty complimentary of Beth's work. 
but the threading on this old pipe was he as he said it was different than anything he's ever seen so it's just this house I don't know where the hell the guy who did most of the work on this house got his materials that drives me crazy um, so anyway it cost us 270 bucks to uh, but now by God we have a stopper in the bathtub that works so it's worth it uh, Umatilla video Dan I noticed on a couple of your videos on the snowshoeing and also on the Umatilla um, on your hike there that um, often the video is blurry and I don't know if you if you've seen that in your video but I don't know if it's because the camera is got focused on something close and so every time you're shooting you know everything in the distance is really blurry so I don't know if there's a way to fix the focal point on that and and then have it not autofocus um, while you're doing some of that but um, anyway just want to let you know that the down trees you're getting caught on those thorns on those do you guys have buckthorn out there I don't know if if you know what buckthorn is but around here we have a lot of buckthorn and it's a it's a tree but it's, they're often small short trees and god the thorns are like you know that long um, and they're an invasive species here and um, usually I mean they they were planted because they grow so fast but uh, now people are just trying to get rid of them it's kind of like cottonwood trees um, Let's see, one of the, you know one of my favorite hikes, Dan, and I would love to do this someday with you, when I was a kid, when I'm not when a kid, when I was in high school, my dad and I went up, and we hiked, we parked in the parking lot at Crystal Mountain, which is a ski resort up there in, um, what pass is that, um, on the way up to Mount Rainier, not White Pass, not Squamish Pass, one in between, anyway, you know what I'm talking about, um, and we parked in the lot, this was, I think, June? or maybe even May. So skiing was done. But what we did is we hiked all the way up underneath the chairlift, all the way up to the very top of the top of the, uh, to the top chairlift and then back down again. That was really cool. Um, and actually funny, one of the things I found on that hike was a little round ceramic thing that we, you use to um, smoke uh, joints with. So you stick the joint one in so when it got down to a little budget it needed a roach clip. Uh, and it had a little marijuana leaf painted on it. My mom didn't think that was very funny. She threw it away. Um, but that was a great that was a great hike. Um, so well, I might have to do that for old times. Um, also, I think that you should not get eaten in the woods by something, um, bear, wolf, whatever. I don't know how often that happens to hikers. It's probably I'm guessing it's similar to getting eaten by a shark while open water swimming in the ocean it's frequent enough that it you see it in the news all the time but not so frequent that anybody who's seriously into swimming or hiking worries about it um, but I was thinking about that I was thinking you know what what is your do you have a plan um, if you run into a bear you know do you carry a big stick do you carry sharp words you know what's your plan to to deal with that just curious um, but I don't want you to get eaten so, um, and then you made a response to Nikki, uh, yeah, healthy, um, I guess I can talk about this, but, um, in the video to Nikki, but Nikki, I think you need to swim more. I know I say that all the time, but the great thing about chlorine is it shortens your lifespan, but it makes you healthier during that, acutely healthier, chronically unhealthy, you know what I mean? So it kills all the viruses, so you don't get sick very often, you're just going to die suddenly from cancer or something from the chlorine but at least you know up to that point you're going to be really healthy um dan you were talking about dichotomy between life and work that there shouldn't be any dichotomy between life and work but you don't have to work so does that affect your view um yeah i don't think there should be a dichotomy either but you know um you know, I guess I don't have to work, but I do. Uh, none of us have to do anything, right? We all have choices to make. So, anyway, I think that, I think that might, I don't know, tell me if you think that affects your view of that. Um, so, and you were talking about external affirmation. I thought a lot about that. What am I doing? Why do I do? I, I like being at Mugby. Um, 
Is it because I'm looking for external affirmation? I don't know, maybe, but one thing that I found is I like going in and walking through the store and simply talking to everyone that's in there that I know. Um, I try talking to some of the 18 to 22 year old college women, but that didn't go over very well for many reasons. Um, but um, um, it, um, you know, I, and I don't know if that's for external affirmation or just that the, the value of just loving people and being loved that that means so much. Um, I really I really like it. I, I feel like I get a lot from that. Um, I don't know if that I don't know, does that count as external affirmation? Um, I don't know. Um, Kauai. I'm I'm gonna do some research because I wanna I, I would love to go. Obviously not again, we're not going next year. But I want to make sure there's a place I can swim. That's, you know, um, and and realistically, I can only hike so much. I'm not going to be able to hike as much as you do. So, um, um, I want to I want to make sure that wherever it is we go, that there's something that we, you know, presumably we're going at the same time, so we can hang out. So, what are those things that we can do together? Um, you know, limited hiking for me, limited swimming for you. So maybe I could ride a motorcycle next to you. That'd be fun. Um, I'm not 6'1", Dan, thank you, though. Um, I'm like 5'11", and I used to be 6 feet, and now I'm approaching 5'11". So it's, um, that's why I'm on that, um, that, um, that table, the um, inversion table. You <laughs> get a little taller. Um, have you seen, I know you use that machine, the one that you pointed at, but have you ever seen the outdoor elliptical bikes? Um, I really want to try one of those because I think that that wouldn't be hard on my knee and I could still be outside riding. And honestly, I just don't like riding, I don't like biking that much. I think there's something about being on the side of the road, biking along the side of the road, that, um, that, um, um, just worries me about getting schmucked by a car with all the people texting out there. So anyway, um, anyway, look up outdoor elliptical bike and, and look at the images and look at some videos for it. I think I would love to get a couple of those because I, I, I remembered loving running. You remember we used to run like one in the morning? Okay, when I say used to, we probably did it twice. But anyway, I really liked running. I ran all through college um, and I really enjoyed it. And I missed that. I think that outdoor elliptical bike will make me feel like I'm running and still make me feel outdoors and, and get that cardio work um, as a compliment to swimming. Um, Hamley, so I'm glad you're playing gigs even if you're not playing with Margaret. Um, and uh, obviously the pay is a bonus, but it's nice having it's nice having cash in the pocket, isn't it? I, I like that. Um, are you shooting any video of those gigs? I'd like to see, you know, see some. Um, and uh, West Coast Trail, I'm looking forward to, to you going on that. I think it's going to be a great trip. And um, um, when, when are you guys planning on going? And you didn't, I don't think you said what time of year. I'm assuming it's summertime. Um, but, you know, so what if it's dangerous? Live large, man. Um, have a good time. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a, good, a good trip. It'll be fun to go out with Brad, too. Um, final thing, uh, shirtless, lack of confidence. Um, I think that, was that supposed to be funny? Uh, sometimes your humor is quite pointed and I'm not sure has the desired effect. Um, I do suffer from HTS, which is hot titty syndrome. Uh, which is why I often am not wearing a shirt. Um, but the good-looking one, mm, I don't know, Dan. Um, it's, um, I'm not sure any of that, even if it were true, which I would debate that, um, as, uh, um, it, um, it, it's not, what am I trying to say? 
I don't think any of that matters when you're in your late 40s. Uh, it's stuff that's sort of by the wayside. I think that um, what we're doing and how we treat people is far more interesting to people than how we look um, because, you know, bad backs, torn ACLs, um, all those things that we're dealing with are the great equalizers, right? Age is the great equalizer. So, um, anyway, um, it, uh, so, but anyway, um, regardless of whether you were trying to be serious or trying to be funny or, or both, uh, I hear you. So I am wearing a t-shirt and a sweater and a vest um, so that I can be confident in my appearance. Um, so that I don't feel like I'm having to make up for anything or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, I don't know what the psychological word is I'm looking for, but um, compensate. I don't have to compensate for whatever it is I'm supposedly compensating for. So anyway, um, I guess that's all I've got. Uh, we're about 15 minutes into this video, and that's my story, and sticking to it.